All right, well, it's good to have all of you here tonight. All right, let's kick it off right now. The new season with the first fastest finger question of the night. Here it is. Put these TV goofballs in the order of their debut, starting with the earliest. Cosmo Kramer, Goma Pyle, Jack McFarlane, Chrissy Snow. Okay, everybody, time's up. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting with the earliest, and it was Goma Pyle. And then Chrissy Snow, and Cosmo, and then Jack McFarlane. That's the right order. Who got it the best this time? Eddie McIntyre! So with Eddie McIntyre from Miami, Florida, our first contestant of the new season. Nice to have you in the chair there. Thank what you. do you do, Eddie? Um, I'm an attorney for my main job, and I'm the president of the board of a not-for-profit arts group called Miami Light Project. No money, but a lot of satisfaction. Yeah. And that's like my second job. Sure, absolutely. It's good to have you here, Eddie. Thank now, you. if you want to play along with Eddie, click on to Enhanced TV on ABC.com right now. All right, Eddie, you know the rules. You're just 15 questions away from winning $1 million. And to help you, you have three lifelines. You're 50-50. You can ask the audience, and you can phone a friend. So are you ready? I'm ready. Audience, are you Let's ready? Go. Yeah, we're all ready. What play you wants to be a millionaire? Eddie McIntyre, we start with $100. Here it comes. Which of the following is slang for an important person? Top hat, high heel, big wig, the reach. <laughs> uh... I'll go with Big Wig. Big Wig is right for $100. Coming up, the $200 question for Eddie McIntyre. Which of these terms means to restart a computer? Reboot? Jumpstart? Uplink? Please work this time. Not very good with computers, but I know it's reboot. Final answer. Got it for $200. Good, Eddie. He's up to $300. Which of these timepieces uses a pendulum to keep time? Wristwatch, grandfather clock, hourglass, biological clock. Um, grandfather clock, final answer. Yes, that's right, grandfather clock, 300. You're going for $500, Eddie. In what sport the players try to throw a tight spiral? Would it be baseball, basketball, volleyball, football? <sighs> Go Gators, football, final answer. Got it, $500. One thousand. The hard to read and restrictive parts of a contract are often called the what? Paper trail, package deal, fine print, dependent clause. Um, that would be the fine print. Final answer. Yes, it's the fine print. He's won a thousand. Eddie, one third of the way there. Going for $2,000? Check it out. Little Havana is a major section of what U.S. city? <laughs> Cleveland, Dallas, San Francisco, Miami. If I miss this, you just have to send me right out into the street. <laughs> Miami, final answer. Good guess, Eddie, $2,000. <laughs> All right, $4,000, coming up. The name of a school dance prop is short for what word? Prominent, promise, promenade, promotion. Um, promenade, final answer. That's right, for $4,000. Look at this, and he's going for $8,000 already. In the classic Mark Twain story, a young pauper trades identities with a boy who is a what? A prince, a soldier, wizard, sailor. Young pauper. I think I'd like to use a lifeline. Okay. And let's use the 50-50. 50-50, all right, Eddie, here. Computer, do your thing, take it away. Leaves the prince and the wizard. I don't know the story, but in my head, there's a title of something called The Pauper and the Prince. So I'm gonna say Prince, final answer. You're right, Eddie, it's the Prince. He's won $8,000. Remember, come back. You'll go 
to 16,000. Eddie McIntyre, an attorney from Miami, Florida, has won $8,000 and going for $16,000 with two lifelines left to play. So who did you bring up from Miami with you? I brought my companion, Fernando. Fernando. Nice Hi. to meet you, Fernando. Hi, Regis. How are you? Yeah. I understand Fernando has a, a vision about you getting into the hot seat <laughs> and actually channeled all of his energy into making that happen. That's, That's right. what got me here. So how does that work, Fernando? Well, you know, I just saw the big guy popping up those answers, those fast finger sitting at home on the sofa in record time, and I'm going, wait a minute, you're onto something here, and uh, I just started uh, calling and putting post-its up, call Regis, call Regis all over the house. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I get, as soon as I got on the phone, I give him the phone, and we tried that, and... Uh, and he got in? Uh, not through the phone, actually, he auditioned through uh, Channel 10 News in Miami, Florida. Oh, that's right, sure. Yeah, he was one, one of those the, uh, city auditions, yeah. yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah. So, uh, how, what are you going to do with this money, Eddie? Uh, gee, you know, it's funny, I haven't really tried, I've tried not to think about that because I didn't want to get so far ahead wait, of myself. Wait. Let, let me ask Fernando, Fernando, what are you going to do with the money? <laughs> You're going to go right to Barney's. <laughs> oh, right to Barney's. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right, fine, you'll have a good time there. They'll take your money any day of the week. All right, you're seven away from a million, Eddie, let's go for it, okay? Here it comes, 16,000, let's play. Here it is, Eddie, for $16,000. The end of the Western Roman Empire in the 5th century is considered the beginning of what period in European history? The Crusades, the Middle Ages, Enlightenment, Reformation. Um, you know, I really, I think I need help again. Sure. And this looks like a really smart audience. They look like history buffs. You better take another look at them, Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> the ones who don't look like history buffs aren't going to answer. <laughs> I need their help, so I'm going to use my lifeline and audience, do your thing. All right, audience, you heard the man. He needs your help. If you're ready, vote now. Well, it's kind of spread up, but 41% call it the Middle Ages, and the Crusades came in uh, second with 28%. Well, I was down to those two that scored the highest, Middle Ages or Crusades. You know, I'm thinking the Crusades happened first. And then the Middle Ages, and then the Renaissance, but... And you still have a lifeline, Eddie, if you have a history yeah. buff. Yeah. But the audience, they look smart, Regis. Um, you know, and I mean, I came here, I've had a great trip, so whatever happens, happens. I'm gonna go with the audience, so come on, guys, I hope you're right. I'm gonna go with the Middle Ages. Final answer. B, final answer. Yes, they're right. $16,000. And he still can phone a friend. And we're going for $32,000. Very important question, Eddie, and here it is. What animated TV series features a character whose favorite snack is cheesy poofs? Rugrats? Powerpuff Girls? The Simpsons? South Park? My <laughs> kid stuff, not my strong suit. Phone a friend. Got to phone, phone a friend because it's a pure guess on my part. Let's phone a friend. Got somebody who watches a lot of TV? Uh, I'd like to phone my friend Mike. Let's get him on the line, okay? Okay. AT&T, we need Mike. Hello? Hello, Mike. Yes. Hi, Regis Philbin calling from The Millionaire Show. How you doing? Hi, thank you. How's Eddie doing? Well, Eddie's won $16,000. He's uh, uh, reached the $32,000 question and he's finding it kind of tough. So we're calling you for some help. Okay, great. All right, fine. You got 30 seconds. Eddie, and they start now. What animated TV series features a character whose favorite snack is cheesy poofs? Rugrats, Powerpuff Girls, The Simpsons, or South Park? You've got 20 seconds.
13 seconds. Uh, South Park, 100%. You're really 100% sure? 100%, Eddie. Well, if you're sure, then that's great. Love to Brenda. Okay. All right, right, thanks. He's 100%. He knows what he's talking about. So D, South Park, final answer. He's 100% correct. All right, you got there, Ready? You can't leave here with less than that. That's good, isn't Great. it? Five away from the million. Here it comes for 64,000. Basenji, Whippet, Borzoi are breeds of what animal? Dog, cat, fish, bird. Well, I've got four dogs, and they all came from the pound. None of these fancy dogs, but I know they're dogs. So A, dog, final answer. Right for 64 times. Very good, Eddie. We're going to pause. We're going to come back. They'll go for 125,000. Eddie McIntyre from Florida. Currently from uh, Miami, lived for a while in, in Jacksonville. You got all those great college football teams there. How about Florida State getting knocked off last week? Well, you know, you root for the home state, but I'm a Florida Gator, and that's our big rival. So, you know, I wasn't too upset. No, but Gators are two and zero, oh, doing good. Yeah, you guys got it well down there. You know, we're speaking of dogs, and you. Uh teach a course in pet therapy, do you? Well, I don't teach it, but about five years ago, I took a class where uh, I got certified as a pet therapist gotcha. with two of my dogs, Yeah. which wasn't a real grueling. It was basically to make sure they won't bite and, you know, they'll command you. And once we got certified, um, we go to hospice places and do pet therapy. With people who are confined? Yeah, yeah. in convalescent homes and what have you. And, uh, they, you come in with the dogs, and it's amazing. I mean, to see these people light up when they just see a little dog come in and lick their hand, it's just incredible. Well, I bet there are millions of people out there with dogs who never thought about yeah, that. Yeah, and yeah. it's nothing to do. I mean, it's a one-hour certification. Again, they just want to make sure you don't have a dog that's going to go crazy. Yeah, well, that's a lot of fun. Yeah, it's, it's A lot of good. satisfaction, too. Yes. All right, Eddie. Eddie, can you believe what's happening here? With Fernando's <laughs> vision, you're up to $64,000, going for 125 and four away from a million. Let's play. Okay, Eddie, here it is, 125,000. In 1963, Gene Neidich founded what organization? AARP, Save the Children, Weight Watchers, PETA. Oh, I wish I had one of those lifelines. Um, I don't have a clue. And there's a lot of good people in these seats that need a chance, Regis, so I am out of here and happy as a clam. All right, good enough. He's won $64,000. The answer is Weight Watchers. There you go, Eddie. Thank you very good much. Good luck to you, buddy. Nice to have you here. Well, there was something in the air that night. The stars were bright, Fernando. Your vision came true. $64,000 and good for you and Eddie.